Okay, this one is pretty massive if you think about it. I know some brain dead people out there. They're, they're not going to understand the severity of a project posting a fucking scam on their page, endorsing it. The video has Brett with FOMO, and they say, oh, we just endorsed it because we're like, they, they called out Brett. You know how many other projects have mentioned Brett? Yet you didn't touch any of them. But somehow, a lot of the people who promoted Brett also promoted this pre-sale, including the Brett Twitter account, which is run by Crash and his friends. Don't listen to anything he says. There's no Brett Twitter owner. Go to the first several spaces. There's no Brett owner. It's Crash and his friends talking on behalf of Brett. So anyways, listen to this. The whole space is positive and they're sucking each other off. And then one guy comes with a normal complaint. And they act like it's no problem. They act like it's not their jurisdiction. Like they're not responsible for anything posted on the project that they're supporting so hard. And if you want some context for this FOMO project, here's what happened. The pre-sailers couldn't get their tokens. They're, they're up money. $15 million raised. Big red flag again, of course. Comes out of fucking nowhere. Raises all this money because Brett and all the cabal start fucking pushing it. And the pre-sailers couldn't even claim their tokens despite the fact that they were in profits. They could claim their tokens when the fucking price had already nuked to the floor. Go take a look at the FOMO project, please. Also, they had 30% tax all the way up that they didn't disclose. Fucking ran away with all that money. Just an absolute scam. And then this is how they fucking talk about it. Just listen to, the, listen to Crash and how he unfolds here. How he starts getting emotional. He says he doesn't care. Not his responsibility. Oh yeah, bullshit. And then I fucking post about it. I show that the Brett uh, account was supporting this FOMO project and they delete the post today now. Like, come on, guys. You can't be this dumb. Yo, yo, how are you doing? I like Doing good. Uh, yeah, I just had a quick question about the relationship with um, Brett and FOMO. I have no idea, brother. You know me. I don't like pre-sales, so I saw, I saw there's a coin called FOMO. I don't know what it is. You know me. Not putting my money in none of that shit, so. It's a shit coin, bro. But w w what was like? You don't have any insight on the on the tweet that the Brett account made. No, I don't. I don't. I don't know. <laughs> Great answers. Nice quiet does pauses it, too. Does it really matter? Or like. No, I mean you just. I mean I know I know how you feel about pre sales and. I'm just wondering why. Um, yeah, you know how I feel. So, so I'm gonna tell you my personal experience. I bought into FOMO at 30 million market cap, and right now it's at 15 million market cap, and I'm down 50% my bag. And I don't really think it's gonna go up anymore. Right. Hey, uh, that's, we'll that's, that's that's what what I'm asking. Why why there is a partnership between? FOMO and Brett. How do you know that's a There's partnership? There's no partnership. It's, it's, it was an acknowledgement, it seems like, because they, they made a video with Brett in it. Oh, so, so you're just, just going to go blindly assume any it's a project, or some shit. Right? It's you're just going to acknowledge off, any project that does that? You jump into conclusions. Second, you're focused on, in my opinion, the wrong shit, because, like I always say, first off, like I'm not a fan of pre sales. Second, winners stay winning. Right. I don't even so, know what that means. That's disgusting. I don't give a shit about other stuff, man. Like, if it's not quality, if I don't give a shit about it, I don't give a shit about it. I'm not going to waste my time talking about, uh, you know, stuff unless I'm, like, warning people that, hey, I don't think it's going to do good. Like, like, I told people I didn't think Roost was going to do well. Okay, so if he didn't think it was going to do good and it was posted on the project that he's pushed harder than any project out there, why didn't he warn people? Why didn't he go to the Brett team, which is basically him, but why didn't he go to them and say, um, guys, why are we fucking supporting a pre-sale? You know I don't like pre-sales. This is going to look bad on Brett. Why, why didn't he do that? Very questionable. Well, people right, said exactly, but don't you think it's the equivalent well. of Brett tweeting Roos a little bit? I don't know, bro. I don't... It's not my this job. This is the first time he hasn't so known a lot. Me, I, I aped into FOMO, a father of memes, because Brett did repost him. That's a 
Oh, now we have someone admitting he actually bought because of... And this is like a Brett dick-sucking panel here. All they've done is talk up Brett. And now this guy's actually admitting he bought because of the Brett account. So there's your proof of concept right there about why it's such a bad idea for a project that people trust and like to be promoting other projects. I've told you guys for months now, that's the downfall of Pork, that's the downfall of so many of these projects, is when they start promoting other projects as a desperation move. That's the only reason I actually put some money in. I didn't put a lot of money in, by the way. I put like $350 at $30 million, and right now it's like at $15 million. So I don't really care about it, but I did FOMO into FOMO because Brett reposted it. That's all I'll say. Yeah, I mean, that's what I'm saying. Is that it's, I think it's a little bit concerning that the project... Okay, happened. Arden, did you lose money on FOMO? Is that why you're sitting here? No, no, not at all. That? But I, And okay. I'm up on Brett. Well, guess what? I didn't buy FOMO, and I wouldn't but, touch okay. that shit with a 10-foot pole. Right, I didn't... I don't... Oh, so Crash has no responsibility for FOMO because he didn't buy it and endorse it. Yet a lot of Cabal members that he's closely associated with that also called Brett, all of them promoted it. Fucking the Brett Twitter account reposted it. But he doesn't get any fucking backlash because he didn't fucking tell you to buy it. Is that how it works now? Very interesting. That's such a fucking cop-out. Oh yeah, the project I tell you guys to buy every single day reposted this, but I personally didn't, so I can't be held accountable. I knew it was shit, but I didn't warn anybody. I didn't warn the bread account to take it off. Yeah, bull fucking shit, brother. I don't give a shit if Brett posted that or what. I don't give a fuck who posts that, man. Alex Becker could post it. Grant Cardone, Donald Trump could post it. I don't give a flying fuck. Because I have my own goddamn opinion on the market, and I'm going to do what I think is right. I'm going to do what I think is legit. I don't give a fuck about what anyone else does, bro. So instead of worrying about others, like, why don't we just focus on ourselves? Like, I don't pay no damn attention to what other people are doing or enough to even discuss what other people are doing that much, you know? No, I realize that, but like, that's, that's the, that's the that's project crash. account that's still for the coin that you're invested in. That's not like... It's yeah, so for me, Crash, like I did invest a little bit of money that I could afford to lose because Brett did uh, talk about it, and I I did invest a little bit, and um, it's not doing good. But yeah, you're right, Crash. It, it's honestly shit. It's a fucking pre-sell. I never invest in pre-sells, by the way. Yeah. So your point, so someone though, who about... never invests in pre-sales just did that. Because of the bread account. But yeah, there's there's no responsibility for us. And bread is still 100% legit. And you know, everything's cool, right guys? Yeah. Like Alex Becker tweeting about it is is a bit of a weird comparison because it's the, the project account for the coin we all like and enjoy. I'm telling you that I don't give a shit who in the world posts about what, man. I'm here focused on my own account. I'm focusing on what I'm going to tweet and what I'm going to buy. Facts, bro. No, that's fair. You don't see me. That's I, fair. All right. I, so, I mean, it was a massive scam. They're going to use that money to pump God knows what, whether they throw it in Andy on ETH or they throw it in Brett. It's just a way to funnel their operations that keep on going. Crash isn't rich. His $4 million, all these things he shows you, they're fucking fake. He can't sell them. He can't get $4 million out of Brett until it's pumped to a certain price point. And he's been fucking selling all his other wallets the whole time. This is what people do. They act like they're super rich. They act like something super important. But really none of it is. They're just all fucking LARP. And now let's let's see this very confident community. I mean we obviously caught him lying here. So what happened was he was going to bring me up on the stage. And then he pretended there's some difficulties of course. And he's done spaces a million times. There's proof of it. If you don't believe me, go look it up. He's hosted Spaces a million times. He's been on them a million times. He knows if he removes someone that those people can't join again. I showed the screenshot showing that I'm unable to join the space again after he did what he did. But apart from that, look how fucking backwards these people are. He says, oh yeah, this guy's going to come up here and be rude and disrespectful. Look how the panel treats me before I've even gotten there. They just show their weakness and they show how fucking defensive they are 
and I haven't even got up on stage yet. I was going to come up there calm as tits and show Crash why he's wrong about so many things he preaches and have a nice little debate. He would have fucking muted me two seconds in because he knows he can't handle me. But l just listen to how his community uh, reacts and responds. Just absolute morons. Follow you will make a lot of money. And I, I guarantee that. So this guy's literally uh, yeah, saying, I you. guarantee anyone who follows you will make a lot of money. I mean, Jesus Christ. And no one sees the problem here, right? That all these people are saying, you need to follow this guy. You need to follow this guy. And then everyone follows this guy and everyone throws their money at anything this guy talks about. Meanwhile, this guy's a scammer. This guy has zero track record of making great calls. I've offered a bet several times. Anyone want to pick like three to six months from Crash's page and my own page and you want to compare? I'll give you three to one odds. I'll bet you as much money as you want. And I guarantee you no one will take that bet because they know. He's got a shit track record. And now we have everyone in the space saying you got to buy anything this guy talks about. But anyways, let's let's see how they react to me coming on stage soon here. You bro. You know, it's so funny. Um well, I appreciate you guys all. So, we have I'll I'll bring him on on the stage. We have a hater here. I could just see him. He's spamming laughing emojis, thumbs down emojis. So, if he's going to come on the space, he's going to like yell and be disrespectful. I'll just remove him, right? But like obviously you can see all you guys are very positive and all you guys like, you know, our, our, These our supporters. These calls Crypto Lounge. What's up, bro? <laughs> wait, wait, I'll, I'll bring him on. If he's going to be rude and disrespectful, I'll remove him. Right? Let him, bring him on, bring him on. He's yeah, like, bring he's him on. Like, he, he can teach you the problem, brother. Fuck you. Fuck you, Caesar Calls. You're just mad because you didn't get into Brett early, motherfucker. So, I'm going to be rude and disrespectful. Is there fear? I haven't even got there yet, and look at how much they're yelling and, like, saying fuck you and all just bullshit haters up there and i'm gonna be the one that starts the problems all right it makes sense <laughs> no no we, we don't we don't need to be rude no. let's i mean the guy no, is, let is, him no he's rude himself bro let him talk bro you could defend yourself crash i know you can this just is where crash on. this is where crash starts to have uh second guesses on this and starts bringing up technical difficulties because the guy says you can defend yourself, Crash. I know, you and then that's when he realizes, fuck. The last time I met Caesar on the mic, he he proved me wrong in 10 seconds, and I had to leave David's space and fucking run away. So, that's when he starts second guessing this whole movement. He's like, shit, Caesar's actually probably about to roast me, so we can't bring him on. And then that's where the lies uh, continue to unfold. I know no, you tried, got what it I've takes. I've tried to bring him on twice. That's now, a lie. I'll tell you what the error says. It says he just finished bringing up like 10 different speakers. And then after me, with the supposed error, he brought up more speakers right away. There's there's only one problem with the speaker he brought up that day, and it was me. Oh, now it says he can speak, uh, except now it still says requested. So it says there was an error adding this guy as a guest. Please try again. So maybe I'll oh, remove okay. him, then he can try again. But Yes, bro. Guys, try, if bro, this guy wants let's, to let's shit, hear this. Yeah. yeah and, Give and it here's to him. Let me, let me say something. All right. First off, I'm not even going to engage in, in pigs conversation, right? Um, you know, some people, you cannot change their mind. Right? It doesn't matter what you say. They'll think what they're going to think. You're, there's nothing you can say that will change anyone's mind. Exactly. So I'm not going to have a pointless conversation, uh, you know, and just keep going and going and going on some stupid shit. No, I'll, I'll give him a second. If he wants to have a rational conversation without being an absolute fucking frah. Oh. Oh. Uh, Rewind that part back. Without being an absolute fa He wanted to say faggot. But then he didn't want to be seen as a, a homophobic dude. Even though... I mean, look at the post before the recording here. Twitter is gaying out. Won't let me start the space. So, he really tried to catch his words there for once. I mean... I, mean, I well, want like to I'm bring up one more thing. <laughs> I want to bring one. We all want to hear I this. I want to bring one more thing at here. So, I have been also following David's... Uh, you know, for, you know, this part is disgusting. This is also... But David is so uh, set. I mean, it, it, you guys are like two guys are there in the entire uh, crypto market l reading the chats. You and I, I believe another. So according to this paid actor who supports David Goxian and Crash, they're the only people along with Max BTC that read their chats out. Do you know how many fucking crypto channels read every single message out? And Crash doesn't. 
If you go on his YouTube channels, there's like so many people spamming plays. He doesn't give them any fucking attention or recognition. So, I mean, this guy is just a fucking clueless dick rider, but pretty sure he's being paid. But I forget where this guy goes with this combo. I have it saved for another 20 seconds for some reason. So let's see. Person is Mac, I believe. But what what he said, like, you know, when Crash reads something, that means it will be 100% happening. And you are one. And then people who are following a new in the crypto, please do follow Crash and definitely you will make a lot of money. So there we go right there. And that's the whole problem with this whole damn thing is normal people listen to fucking idiots like that dude who have been paid and they think, oh my God, like I need to follow this guy. I need to buy everything this guy talks about. And that's the problem right there. And I'm not going to let normal people get fucked over. So... Everyone thinks the SEC, you know, they're such bad guys, and we're out. I mean, they're out there to get everybody. Um, yeah, but they're not. They're, the government's been taking taxes from people forever, guys. Paying fucking taxes for crypto, suck it up. You th you think you found some amazing loophole that you don't have to pay taxes for money that you've made here? It's like whatever. But if the SEC comes in here and they start, you know, taking down all these big players and all these big scammers, it's actually going to help you. And if, if I had the chance, I would send them every bit of information I had on all these guys. And I'd love to see all these guys go down. And then that's when you would see a truly decentralized space, even with the SEC and, and our no and even with the SEC and, the, you know, them poking their nose into all this stuff you will see a truly decentralized space because I mean these guys are controlling everything right now with their big cabal scam ring and if you're not on the inside you're not going to get anything early and they're going to do worse and worse I mean they're going to start pushing plays out at 30 million market cap and it's going to hit 50 and die and then people are going to start realizing oh the cabal has way too many projects you know they're doing worse and worse and then all of, everyone that follows them will just be pvping on each other so that's where the problem lies guys it's it's much bigger than just a couple scams promoted by this douchebag it's fucking over a bunch of normies out there uh, and we gotta save them